everybody. Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to Vlogmas Day number five. Now, you guys, this is supposed to be a grocery haul, but there are no groceries. Okay, so here is the situation. Our deep freezer, which is there, it's frozen, and we cannot unfreeze it. It's cold in the garage. It's cold outside. And so right now, we are trying our very best to get the deep freezer unfrozen so that I can pack all the food back into it. Hmm? What do I need? Not a clue. I have no idea. What did I say? You said Jackson. I don't remember. No, yeah, leave it open. Open it and take everything out. Put some, uh, Oh, there's stuff in there. Yeah, there's stuff in there, like ham and something else. But it needs to go on the table. But move the table runner so it doesn't. Put the, um, yeah, put this um, dish thing on it to protect the wood. Anyway, y'all, I can't even get to the grocery store because I'm trying to. Whew. Okay. So Jackson and I managed to get the. It's, it's warm in the house, so I'm feeling like it will go ahead and defrost inside the house. Here's what I'm thinking, though. Because I, I would love to have some type of an island in the kitchen. Remember when I had that table in here, and it was just it was just another place to put stuff? But I don't have that anymore. So what I'm thinking is the coffee station could be moved back to the middle of the room, like when we first had it there, and we could move the um, deep freezer over to the side where the coffee station is. Now that just means we would have to move the coffee pot whenever I needed to open the deep freezer. That might be more than what we wanna do. I don't know. Or I could get creative. Okay, y'all tell me what you think, right? So right now in this cabinet here, right? I have glasswares and all that kind of stuff. I could actually make this um, this section right here for the coffee and move these jars and stuff. I could rearrange and just make this one section the coffee station. And then that way we won't have to move stuff. So the kids now we're gonna work on that, right? So I still got the grocery haul. The grocery haul is coming in Jesus name, but it's gonna be like an all in one type of vlog. This is vlogging y'all, we vlog December. I was going to say Vlogtober, but that's wrong. This is Vlogmas, so welcome to all the vlogs in Jesus' name. Oh, my God, my back. I was bending down, y'all. Let me tell you. Woo. My birthday is in a few more months, and I will be 45 in Jesus' name. But, uh, uh um, just me. <laughs> y'all. Okay, so Jackson and I are going to work on trying to at least def get the stuff that's frozen out. That's what we're working on right now. Yes, God. Yes, God. Oh, in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, I got two of them. Ooh. Lord have mercy. Notice how the deep freezer is very far from its home. It is very far from its home, but I don't think it's going back in there. Move. Oh, that's three of them. Lord have mercy. Look at mine. I got it. We cooking with something. It might not be grease tonight, but we cooking with something, Lord. Here's one. Oh, wow, the one part so easily. Because I put this water in here. Talking about so easily. Get out. Just move out. Here, let me get this one out. Oh. I need one more cycle ran through that. What's your name? Jackson, come 
on, you can get your little hands in there and wiggle it better than I can. You gotta get your hands in there. Is any of you them you can get? Because I can't get my hands in there. The easiest ones is to go look underneath that one. Underneath on the other side. Yeah. That top part. Can you get it? Can you get the coasters out? If I lean this up, can you get the coasters out? Over here. Yeah. 
just trying to move it right over there. Come on. Push that cord behind. Watch your hand. Well, we we're gonna let it in as many trips to the garage. Let's get the stuff back in here. How do you want it back in there? Let me see this chicken, please, because I think you Mom, can place it. Wasn't it. No, they're going under there. Where are the, um, no. These are the packet ones. ones. Those are the, the butcher ones. I, I yeah, that one's the butcher ones. Give me this one. No, no, this has all the butcher ones, but some of those that also has the like thighs and legs. Like, like, like but this one has one. Because that was, this is thighs. See, those are legs. Those are thighs, those are legs and thighs. Legs and thighs. It makes sense. We got it. And you know, we can just use this sheet. Can somebody grab me another one out, please? Another. Did I bring them out the car? Did you have groceries? There's a couple things. I don't even know what that is. Trash. I think it's okay. Toss this. I don't even know what, what this is and why it's here. This needs to go in the sink. And I'm and I'm and I'm done. Look, see? Yeah, I was gonna get it. Okay, that's gonna open fine and it's not gonna hurt the um Whoa. Hold on, find me some Christmas um Christmas placemats. Start over that one. Pull that out. Pull that. 
let's move that out. I need you to get that down. This guy? Mm -hmm. Is this one the right? Four. Four. Barky and, and Rosie. Are you going to put those chairs back? Those chairs can go back now. Mm -hmm. All right. It is still working for a while after this. It has to cool down. All right, so now that we have the, the, um, the deep freezer in here, I have to find a place to put my coffee bar because, of course, there are no... Um, plugs here so what i'm gonna do because we are going to leave this in the middle of the floor but not right there it's not it's not equidistant i've got to fix that i'm just going to move it over a little bit more so that we can still open the fridge and we can still open the dishwasher we're going to actually move the coffee bar into this cabinet right here now i do drink coffee every morning and i've measured it um we're still going to be able to open up oh i can't do it with that hand we still are going to be, well, to open up this coffee maker and pour the water in because I use bottled water in here. Um, so that's going to be fine. But I'm going to move this whole top coffee station over there so that um, this can actually serve as kind of like another prep station for me. And then we're going to clean up all of this here on the side. And... Um, then that part, portion will be done. I have not been to the grocery store yet to get my groceries, but there is still hope time. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how fast we can do this because we have to go in the garage and figure out the garage space since we took the deep freezer out of the garage. Is anybody coming in here to help me or no? Miss Amanda, she can go. She might could do it on a day. Very good. That's trash. You now have to figure out this one. This thing right here. Let's see. What thing? The um. Oh. Well, there's nothing. In it, so. Are you done having? You done having? Okay, there we go with that. So the last, y'all, the last thing I have is this. Y'all. Well, I'm done now. Okay, that's done. Okay, you guys, so I went to the grocery store and picked up a few things. I have to go back tomorrow. This is all I picked up because I left my coupons at home and then I had, uh, we had an emergency thing happen at, you know, with the dishwasher, I mean, the, not the dishwasher, the, um, the free deep freezer. So I had to help the kids with that. And then a friend of mine retired or is retiring and they had a little thing for her. 
um, socially distanced, of course, but I went to that and so I didn't have a chance to finish up the grocery shopping. So I had to go back tomorrow. So I was able to get these raspberries. They were four for five dollars or a dollar and a quarter each. Picked up this cheese dip. Um, we just like a cheese, a good cheese dip. That was three dollars. And then they had this cheese. It was buy two, get three free, and that was at Harris Teeter. So I spent $11 and some change over at Harris Teeter for those few items. I have to go back to finish up the grocery shopping in the morning. Alrighty, you guys, so we are back from the grocery store. So I was able to go out and get my groceries today. I shopped three stores. I shopped Walmart, I shopped Harris Teeter, and Aldi. So let me explain what happened. So my grocery budget is $50, and yesterday I think I spent $11. So that left me with like 44 bucks or something like that. Well, I totally, totally forgot. I'm going to be off work for two weeks. And that just means that I usually cook three square meals every day. And so I needed to have more than $50 for the next couple of weeks to just kind of supplement some things. So Shamika sent me some money. And so I just used it for groceries. So I took $100 plus my 50 for the week to make 150 to see what I could, you know, squeeze out or spread out. Some things are non-food, but it works out. So at Walmart, I spent 42, 3, 40 some odd bucks. Um, I picked up six cauliflower. I've got a couple chowders and stuff planned for the cauliflower. Picked up broccoli. We have not done loaded broccoli in a while, so I think I'm gonna try that as well. Um, I picked up, these were all a dollar. Uh, the two good yogurt for four was four, four, four dollars, something like that. It was cheaper than buying four separate because they were dollar twenty four each, so it was cheaper to buy it this way. Uh, Margaret Home seasoned collard greens were dollar twenty four. I usually use this in a chowder, and then we just like it plain. Jehu's, we got the honey mustard. I'm gonna use that on some chicken, three twenty six, and then this queso blanco was two dollars. These American Clear Waters were 57 cents. And then the Sweet Baby Ray's No Sugar added 278. Pork Rinds, Max, Chicharrones, uh, 268. I uh, picked up some toffee. This is the sugar free. That was 198. And then the um, flavor packets for the kids, 398. This uh, su No Sugar added cherry filling was 198. I got two of those. I use just a tiny bit of that on my yogurt every day. Sister asked for this sugar-free um oh no oh man it's not the no sugar dang it i thought that said the sugar-free i look right at it okay we'll have to we'll give that to somebody we're not going to use that i'll have to pick up another one um i picked up some of this um country farmhouse smoked bacon it says irregular slices it was like two dollars and some change it was the cheapest one they had their eggs were 59 cents for the 18 uh, count. The 60 count, 175 eggs were out. And then I picked up some dishwasher pack uh, tabs for 268. So all in all at Walmart, I spent about 42, three bucks. Um, at Harris Teeter, so I got the buy two, get three free cheese. I got that again. They were 339 a piece. And then I got the Carb Master yogurt and that was... Three ninety nine. So this is kind of like um a dollar and sixty some cents for each bag. The cabot was two for five. Uh so two fifty. I had a dollar off of this. Um this sausage was two ninety nine with a dollar fifty off both of them, so a dollar forty nine. Black beans were a dollar forty nine. I had a fifty had a fifty five cents off coupon, so they were thirty nine cents. Um this listerine was one forty nine, I had a two dollar off coupon. So that was free. Now these snack bites, right? So these were buy one, get one free for two fifty. And then I had a seven seventy-five cents coupon that doubles to a dollar fifty, would have made um six snacks. Um it would have made these a dollar, but my coupon was expired. So no worries. Um, we paid two dollars and some change for six of these and I can throw those in my lunch box because it's just cheese It's just cheese. There's nothing else in there except cheese, which is perfect because I can just have that for lunch um, This deal right here. I'm so discouraged. I'm so hurt because I had uh, my 
uh, one of my subscribers, Deb, sent me some coupons. And in the back, uh, thing, it was any Lily's bacon item, baking item. So I got the chips. They were $5.99 on sale this week. It was free. So when I go through the line, the girl is scanning the thing and she scans the coupon and it's like, it's not working. It's not working. So we look on the back of it and it had these um, snack cups. So I was like, okay, I'll get the snack cups. No worries. So it still wasn't working. Come to find out because she'd already voided off the chips to add these on. It was just asking her for the price. So I really should have made her void those off again and put the chips back on there because that would have helped us better because we would have had two bags of the baking chips versus two bags of these chocolate cuppy things. I can, of course, put that at my lunchbox, but I'd rather have the, chi the, the chips. They last longer. And, um, you know, we could have had those for baking other things. So they were $5.39, but free with the coupons. So two coupons. I really appreciate that. And then we got these begging strips, these fun size with bacon and cheese flavor. They were, they were $3.59, something like that. And we had a dollar off because that came in the coupons as well. So we got two things for ma'am. So um, coupons, coupon, 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 and a coupon. Thank you, Deb, for sending those. And she sent some really other great ones, but we were in a time crunch. So at Harris Teeter, I spent about $20, $22 and some change. Then I went over to Aldi and I picked up um, onions were $1.99. These uh, bananas, Jackson eats bananas. Um, he hasn't eaten any in quite a while though, but they were 23 cents a pound. So I picked up a couple of those. The jalapenos were 59 cents. These gala apples were like $1.99. Then they had green beans. I've been wanting to do some roasted green beans and they were $1.39, 35. Got two bags. Um, I picked up two of the ranch for 45 cents. This heavy whipping cream is 155. Sour cream is like 80 some cents. Pork sausage, we like these. Um, they do say maple flavor, but I scanned them with the Carb Manager app, and it's oh, I just have one a day. Um, that's five eighty nine. The keto friendly bread was three ninety nine. This y'all don't know why they had this marked down, but this cream countryside creamery butter was already a dollar seventy nine, but my store had it marked down for um one nineteen, and it says best by May sixteenth twenty one. So. I'm going with it. I like to have these in my purse. They were a dollar and some change. Celery was 99 cents. This um, English cucumber, $1.35. I eat those in my lunchbox every day or a couple times a week. Spinach was $1.19. Um, white mushrooms, I think $1.69. And then these strawberries were $2.49. Low carb tortillas were $1.99. We got two. And then sharp cheddar cheese was $1.79 slices. We got two of those. So we are out of our storage bags, the quart size and the gallon size and the freezer bags. So I picked up one of each of those. I think they were like $1.89 somewhere in there. Then I picked up these um, cookie cutters. We're making doggy cookies for some of the um, church friends who have puppies so um i'm not sure what the price was on that one but i picked it up anyway and then um, my pastor's wife her dog uh wears all these little clothes things and so of course we got one of these for ma'am and we picked up one for barky and they were 4.99 for the small so we spent at um aldi i spent 57 dollars and 99 cents 57.99 is what I spent at Aldi. So 57 plus another 20. So that's 77 79 and then 40 something. So 100 11 plus the plus the money I spent yesterday. So Needless to say, I have about $15 left in my wallet and I'm going to go to Food Line to get some of the thick sliced bacon. You know, Christmas is coming up. So we have, um, we've got sausage, we have cheese, there's eggs. So um, things that we're going to be getting for our Christmas breakfast. So a couple things already. And then of course I'm shopping next week to get Christmas stuff as well. This will probably eat ahead of time. Um, chowder. I'll do a couple chowders. This, I'll be doing some chicken here. Somebody actually bought our dinner tonight. Um, a really, really good friend of mine. She said, here's 20 bucks, get you and the kids something on the way home. So we stopped by and we picked up Smithfields. And um, 
This is a four pack chicken box. I don't even know what comes in this because I don't plan to eat it. But um, the kids can eat it. I don't have enough hands. Okay, so it looks like just chicken and hush puppies. I won't eat any of that because I am unable to eat that. And then I got some, and this is still hot. Oh my word. So I got a pint of barbecue that I can have. And so that was um, $19 and some change. She gave me a $20 bill. So that was that. And then she also passed along to me some of these stuffed be bears and asked me, did I know any um, littles that would like to have some? And so um, we do know some littles and we're gonna pass these along to them on Sunday. Um, we'll take those little babies with us and we'll make sure that everybody that is this age will get something. So um, she said I could keep those bags as well. I think they're really cute. Thank you, Alon, for putting it in there. So anywho, you guys, there it is, grocery haul. Um, I may come out with an additional meal plan, not real sure right now. Um, I'm posted to the community tab if I get it done. But there it is, the groceries for this week, kind of a lot of stuff that was happening. Really glad that we got the, um, the deep freezer moved and the coffee station move. So there it is, you guys. If you like the video, be sure and thumb it up. Don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't already, share the video if you feel like it's shareable. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and we'll see you next time. Bye now.